Hi, my name is JD Mixon. I am the customer success team lead with Driving Sales. Today we're going to go over some of the basics when a user first logs in to Driving Sales for their very first time. All right, so let's get going. Okay, so the first thing we obviously need to do is log in. We have gone to drivingsales.com and we're just going to click log in. Using a demo account right now. When you log in, you will land on your dashboard. Now the first thing you should do is go in and reset your password. And you can also add some more information about yourself. In the top right, you will see a circle with your initials in this little avatar, you're going to click it and then select my profile. This is your primary user profile. And so from here, we would click the three dot ellipsis menu in the top right and then select edit. Now you'll see this background image does go white, so it's difficult to see, but your name would still be located right here. So from this point, we can change this header image, we could upload a new background image. There's a small pencil right here that you can select just to the bottom left of your avatar and that's where you would upload your headshot. The pencil in the bottom right of the banner is where you can put your different social media profiles. You can also continue down if you need to update, perhaps your name is misspelled um, you can add your phone numbers here. Uh, your email address should be correct already. Uh, you can add a small bio if you would like here. For your member type, most people would be a dealer professional, but you can select the appropriate uh, member type. Your job title, you can add that. Any experience, education, or awards, you can add all of that there, and when you're done, simply click Save. Um, that information is all going to save, but a big thing that we need to do, remember, is change our password. So right here, there's a small gear icon. We're going to select that and then account admin. From account admin, you can go through, you'll see the dealership that you are part of. You can turn notifications on or off. But, as I mentioned, we want to change your password. So right here is where you would put in, if you were updating it, you could type in your current password and then type in the new password and re-enter it. Then click Save. It is that easy. You can go for permissions. You can see the different products that you're assigned to. And then lastly is profile optimization and you can again see the features that you are set up for. I hope this helps you in setting up your profile for the first time. If you have any questions, you can always click the chat button in the bottom right and this will allow you to live chat with a member of our team and we will be more than happy to help you however we can. Again, my name is JD Mixon, the customer success team lead. Please like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can find more videos just like this one. Thank you so much. Have a great day.